everyone, it's Kate here from Secret Bloggers Business and welcome back to Blog Tip Tuesday where you get hints, tips and tricks for a better blog. Now this special little tip is all around what to do if you're in the game of growing your email list right now and you're trying to figure out what some what's a cool opt-in bribe or something that you can do and you're kind of getting a little bit tired of every time you do a blog post you got to come up with some kind of worksheet or some kind of this um, and then having to go jump in the back end and set it all up and create different lists and tag it all together and they get sent a welcome email it's got a different thing and it's just a lot of effort now I'm not saying that creating opt-in bribes isn't fabulous or content upgrades, whatever you want to call them. Um, it does work really, really well, but then you, it doesn't just add the extra time of creating that content upgrade. Uh, it also adds the time of setting up the techie bit behind, behind the scenes. And obviously I know everyone is time poor. So this is uh, a special tip for you guys. And that is to actually uh, start looking at putting some of these content upgrades you've already done together into one place and calling it a resource library. Now, resource libraries seem to be the new cool kid on the block. A lot of the big guys are doing them at the moment. We've got one. It's called the Blog <laughs> Secret Blogger Society. And what it does is it allows you to have an awesome, really valuable content upgrade that you can include in posts that maybe don't have a natural content upgrade, or you can go back and embed them and promote them into older posts that, again, you hadn't already created a content upgrade for. And when you do do a post and it has a content upgrade, something you're creating specifically for it, Rather than having to connect it all, create this whole different thing in the back end or find some way of hiding the link or whatever it is, all you do is add that link to the resource library. And so basically everyone who signs in or signs up, sorry, on one of your content upgrades inside the post gets sent access to this resource library and it's got everything all in one place. So it's not just this one thing they're signing up for. They're also getting all this other stuff, which makes it so much more valuable to them as well. And also it's easier for you to set up. Now, the easiest way to create a resource library is you just create a page or post on your blog and then password protect it. Or, you know, you can use a membership software if you want, but for something like this, I don't actually believe you need to. So you just create that post, password protect it, make it a really easy and not embarrassing password. Um, and then when people opt in wherever it is in that welcome email, just give them the link to that special page and the password and explain that the goodie they signed up for and a whole bunch of other stuff is there ready for them when they want it. And of course, you can also promote this to your existing subscribers. When you add something new, you'd be like, hey guys, I've just added this extra thing to the resource library. Go check it out. You have access to it because you're a subscriber. So it's going to make your subscribers feel good. It's going to make it seem even more valuable for your new people to jump onto your list. And it's going to make your life easier. It's like win, 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 bam. Why wouldn't you? So resource libraries, if that's something that sounds good to you, chuck us a comment below, let me know, or a like and a share. Let other people know if you think this is something that could be valuable for them. So that's it for me this week, guys. Thank you so much for hanging around. Make sure you come back next week for more Blog Tip Tuesday. It's a doozy. I think you're going to like it. I will see you then. I'm Kate from Secret Bloggers Business, and happy blogging. Bye.